Hey guys, welcome. Today it is body weight. So for Thursday we're doing a body weight. We're going to combine elements of Zoo and we're going to combine elements of the Animal Flow certification. So we're going to pretty much spend a lot of time with these guys, dirty as they are, simply connected to the floor today. It's, it's an AMRAP. Now the reality is that sounds like, okay, there's a lot of rounds. The reality is you're probably going to struggle to get two. Two rounds of these exercises. We simply put the number and that was 14. So the number of everything is 14 reps of each of these. Now that does not sound like enough, but trust me, it is more than enough to get you moving, to get you working and to make a solid 30 minute workout. So for me, I managed to get two rounds done in around about 24 minutes with some videoing in between. I should go back and do this again. No videos, no music as you'll see with some of the clips and just try to get three rounds done. So we're gonna go with sets of 14. So number one, stuff is back here, is what we simply call the scorpion switch. So it's best to just demonstrate these guys. We're not doing anything apart from the scorpion, the tail, and the switch component. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna start with your hands on the floor, your feet is here, you're gonna bring it up. This is your scorpion tail. You're gonna posture your hand up, you're gonna come up high, and as we drop onto that back foot, this leg is out straight, heel to the floor, and that is one. I'm gonna bring it back around, I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna move it again, and again, I'm gonna drop, my leg is extended, and I'm gonna bring myself back around. So, one inch side is one rep. Now we're gonna go into Cobras. Cobras are a push up from our zoo, where we're pretty much going to shuffle backwards and forwards, starting in a wide leg position, Go from here, hands are here, it's a little bit wide in the shoulders. Come forward, come down. Go to the left, go to the right, go to the middle, and up. That is one cobra. The cobras start to pull in the shoulder muscles. We're then gonna go on to the crab, crab reach and switch. So a bit like the um, scorpion at the start, we're gonna start in the bulldog position. This time we're gonna do our switch and our hip switch. And then we're gonna reach up to the sky. So from here, I'm gonna simply step through. I'm gonna go right leg first, switch, bring my hand up. I'm gonna reach up. I'm gonna look over to where they are, bridge my hips. I'm gonna bring my bum back down. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch through. And again, I'm gonna bring up I'm gonna bring over, my hips are bridged. I'm gonna bring down, I'm gonna switch, and back to the center. And again, yes, like the scorpion, one each side. You can hear my labored breathing, one each side is one rep. Scorpions, cobras, crab switch and reach. Coming on to next is our polar bears. You've seen these before. Feet are wide, hands are about from here half a meter to a meter out from my body, tuck my head in, hands are here, rock up and down on the balls of my feet, rocking my hips, and I come down to the floor. If I can come to here, that's good, but I'm trying to tuck and come the whole way down. One up and down is one rep, that is the polar bear press. Number three, sorry, not number three, the next one is our reverse caterpillar. Again, hands in contact with the floor. Excuse the derriere. Hey, I don't care. One rep. Hands here, hands down. Kick back, feet together. Come up, kick back, feet together. Come up. So one kick back, walking the hands in is one rep. If you're a beginner, instead of just pounding, I'd like you to kick back. Walk your hands, stand up, get used to the feeling of that head being a little bit dizzy, come back down, kick yourself back out. And again, we're just talking 14 of these. The challenge with this move, simple as it may look, when we kick back, is to keep our feet together. Myself included, as we get tired, we tend to kick back and our feet are out too wide. We're trying to kick back into here, so when we're walking up, we're getting that stretch through our hamstrings up into our glutes, and also a bit of a lower back stretch. So it's almost like a 
mobile version of a standing forward bend. So that is our reverse caterpillar. And the reverse caterpillar, you've seen these two before as well. These are Komodo hands. So a little bit like what you've seen before, we were down and we were doing a cobra. This time my hands are just down beside my shoulders. My feet are together this time. And I'm gonna simply shuffle and bounce. Again, one, two. This is what it looks like from the front. From here, I'm down here. One, two, three, four. Push up, step up, stand up. Again, we're going for 14. Start with one hand, count that one hand. The last two, second last one, a simple, straightforward, static handstand hold. I want you to do this for around 30 seconds. The whole idea, this just breaks it up because the last one's gonna come in, it's gonna be a bit taxing on us. I simply, one round, I chose to go up on my ski erg. Other round, I chose to go up against the strongman yoke. Just simply get my feet up. If you can get right up to vertical and do the hold and be strong through your core and through your shoulders, great work. Otherwise, come out a little tiny bit. But again, we're not jumping up, we are walking the feet up. What we might refer to as a gecko in zoo speak. We were doing a wall walk up, pinning up against the wall, holding and walking back down. The final one is the crocodile. On the Instagram today, you'll see, I've actually put more of a demonstration purposes, but a crocodile is a bit like that Komodo hands, but instead of being static, we're shuffling forward and we're shuffling back. So from here, I'm in, feet are together, I'm down. Here's one, two, three, four, what goes forward? Can also go backward. That's it, I got two and a bit rounds done and around the 24 minute mark along with the videos. Take your time, do variations. The croc on Instagram today, I've posted a variation for you to have a look at, to try, particularly for those who are first timers. It's a lot of back, it's a lot of shoulder, it's a lot of hang on the wrists, but over time you get stronger, you get used to that, you will no longer have sore wrists. So when I fall to the floor and I put my hand down, my ligaments and my tendons are a bit stronger then hopefully I don't end up with that broken wrist, obviously, type of fall aside issue. That's it, my name is Don McStraw, this is the McStraw Method. Today was body weight, 14 reps of those exercises. Get your timer, off you go.